Hello Hi everybody, guys. my name is Renee and my name is Basitana and welcome back to our YouTube channel Reva Twins. Twins. Thank you guys for all the subscription, for all the likes, for all the comments. We really, really appreciate all the feedback we're getting and the support we're getting. We really grow it and it's all thanks to, to you guys. You guys are amazing. Easy. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and like, comment, watch our other videos that we have posted. And welcome to the family. family. Yeah. So today guys, we just want to tackle the topic of confidence. We want to share with you five tips of how to boost their self-confidence that we think really worked for us and hopefully it might be helpful to you and work for you as well. So let's get into it. Hope you So yeah guys, let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the first tip on boosting your confidence. The first thing you wanna do is get rid of negative people in your life. We know this is very hard because those people might be your family members, they might be your friends you grew up with, they might be your colleagues, but you need to... They, they're not gonna be your people, they're just gonna be your acquaintances, people you just know. Yeah. Do not involve them in your life decisions because yeah. those people are just gonna derail you. Every time you come up with a suggestion, guys, I think I wanna further my studies and go do a postgraduate program. They're gonna say, ah, why? why? How's it how's that gonna mm -hmm. help you? Blah blah blah. You need to involve yourself with people who are gonna give you positive criticism. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, people who comes with solutions rather than problems. If you're gonna say I wanna go to school and they think that but this is not going to help you anyway, they would rather say, How about you to a, a short training that will boost your boost skills, your skills that you're using at work instead of you going to do another degree or something. Mm, yeah. You know, something like that. Just People who would give you positive criticism, it's yeah. most importantly. Then get rid of negative people. We don't want people who would be like, nah. Who, are, who just come up with problems, but no, no solutions. solutions. Every day, problems, problem, problems, solutions, dollar. 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 No, that is not the way to live your life. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, the second tip in boosting your confidence is to accept your imperfections. I think this is one of the most important things you will do for yourself. Um, when I say imperfections, I'm basically talking about your physical appearance. Yeah. Because that is one of the first thing people see when you present yourself, when mm -hmm. you're walking in, in a room of mm -hmm. whatever. So people see your physical appearance, appearance before they get to, to know, know you. you, before they can interact with you, talk to you, whatever, you know. So I'll make an example. As you can see, I've got a lazy eye on my right eye and then... That is something that can make you lack confidence in mm. life because you're thinking, people are asking themselves, why does she have a lazy eye? What mm. happened to it? And then if you don't accept that you have a lazy eye, then you you might be that person that question yourself or, ah, I'm not perfect. Mm. Ah, you know what? And mind you, people will ask you about your imperfection. Yes, people mm. ask a lot. Hey, and if you don't have confidence, it's always going to set you back. back yes it's gonna set you back and then especially when you are a young kid growing up um i, I always used to get teased about my lazy eye people mm. tell me all those kind of things you know how kids are even when grown up high school and all things mm. people always used to tease me and i think it was just a way for them maybe to to make me lose confidence to make me question myself to, to feel me better about feel yourself badness, about you. my they do not accepted in the community, community you know? Know. but then I think I, I was blessed enough to grow up in a family that didn't make me feel any of those things that we were not in. I was just a normal kid. They didn't. They didn't make me feel some way somehow. So also your background, when you grow up, your loved ones are important mm. as well to help you have that confidence. Or you know what? This is who I am. Probably there's nothing I can change about myself, and then I'm just gonna accept it and embrace it and yeah conquer this world yes so tip number three in boosting your confidence is prepare for rejection mm -hmm. yes i know we don't want to hear this most of the time but it is there and we cannot run away from it when i say prepare for rejection i'm not saying go do something thinking you, you're gonna fail thinking you're not gonna make it knock on those doors go to that interview go to that school open 
that business you wanna open, um, do that project that you wanna do, but always know that things are not gonna go the way you have planned for them to go. Yeah, but I think, doesn't mean you need to quit, hey? Yeah, I think the trick is to have room for disappointment. Mm. It, even if it might just be a little bit, but then always just have room to say, you know what, it might not happen the way that I want it for it to happen. In that way, you know that even if it doesn't work out, but you can still hold your health high. Mm. And then dust yourself, get up and try again, okay. you know. Yeah. And always try to find out what went wrong so you know where to fix things. Exactly, yeah. Okay, and then tip number four in boosting your self-confidence is to groom yourself. I think... um when this we, is just something obvious that you need to do on a daily basis. Uh, dressing up nicely. Dressing up nicely doesn't necessarily dressing, going to buy expensive clothes or designer clothes or whatever. It's just to look clean. Look clean. Smell good. Neat. Smell good. You know, um, wear matching clothes. Wear, mm. wear colors that correlate, you know. Yeah, bright colors. Bright colors or even... You know, walk uh, up straight, straight, you know, chin high, chest out, lock your knees yes. and walk that walk, you know. Yes, so that, that's, it boosts your confidence because you, you can feel yourself. They say when you feel good, you do good. Yes, and you don't want to be that person who is waking like an old person, like they're just being hidden by a rock on their bed, you know. Dragging your feet, dragging your being feet. so lazy each you and know, every day. You look like, like you're tired. No, it doesn't, it's not appealing. Yeah, at all. it's not appealing. And your then, posture matters and we really take this thing for granted, hey? Yeah. All right. Tip number five in boosting your confidence, this one has really, really worked for us, is to join leadership organization. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Yeah. Like, seriously, it doesn't mean you have to talk too much or you have to be intelligent or what, but join leadership organization that will force you to talk. talk yeah. That will force you to come up with ideas, yes. to come up with suggestions, yes. to ask questions to get involved you know that's the best and thing it also do. help you to to be to to be an a person who can organize because mm. when you join these things you you come across having to organize some events. of these things organize events you know talk to people make calls mm. negotiate do all these things admin work also mm. it helps with such things yeah you your creative mind it's, it's, it's you don't just boost your confidence yeah. but you you also Boost your writing skills, your communication skills, you yeah. know, your event planning skills. All those things come all in one and you become a better person. person. So. Remember guys, there's a very fine line between confidence and arrogance. You don't want to come across as a person who is arrogant because they think that they are confident, you know. Yeah. You, you've got to be humble in your confidence yeah. and still be able to hear what other people are saying. saying exactly. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment on the below section. And, and yeah guys, please don't forget to subscribe. We really, really, really like hearing from you guys. And thank you so much for the support. Stay blessed, stay home, home and stay safe. safe. Come on. See you next week.